not evacuated yet. Your window is closing very rapidly. Got it? Man, it's a beautiful day. What do you think a storm's about to come? All right, just to say it again, you sure you won't come with me? Yeah, I'm sure, Hopkins. All right. You get stuck on your roof, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I'll make sure I keep my swim trunks on. <laughs> just, just don't leave it to chance, all right? Last thing I need is my only neighbor. Get swallowed up by a damn hurricane. <sighs> All right, you be careful, Megan. Chair Hopkins. I'm gonna grab some things. thousand dollars for a glass of water. I hate to be the one to tell you this. But you're in pretty bad shape, miss. <laughs> To share. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to keep calling you Miss, and that seems a little old-fashioned. Rouge. Rouge. Well, Miss Rouge, it's very nice to meet you. I've got to be honest with you. I don't have a whole lot of experience patching up people with bullet holes in them. You really should be at a hospital. <sighs> no hospital. You're not gonna make it with that one. No. Hospitals. No hospitals. Is that for you? Yes, 
Mr. Hopkins. Megan, is she here? So how did you uh, know? About her? Mm. Uh, not too many places to end up around here. So you don't know her? No, I figured she knew you. I've never seen her before. Why'd you follow her? I almost ran her over. Barely missed. Then I saw her going to the woods, and then I found the blood, so. Pretty noble there, Mr. Hopkins. Yeah, well, I won't matter much if we can't get her help. Storm might weaken by the morning. That might be. I'm thinking if I avoid the bridge, I could probably make it to Davis Memorial. Yeah, well, you might want to check with Miss Miracle there before you make any decisions. She's pretty dead set against hospitals. Against? Why? Why? Well, might have something to do with that delicate cargo she's carrying. Well, if she stays here, she dies, whether she's against a hospital or not. That is true. You don't seem too torn up about it. Look, I'm just... I don't really think that her odds are gonna be any better in a hospital bed than they are right here on my couch at this point. All right. So what do we do then? Hopkins, have you ever seen that much money before? No. No. Yeah, me either. I don't know about you, but I don't come from rich blood. Let's face it. The universe hasn't been overly kind to me. The universe? Yeah, the universe. The God, fate, destiny. I don't really care what you call it. But it seems to me that guys like you and me, we don't get many opportunities to have a say in the outcome, right? What are you suggesting? I don't know yet. But I do know that little Miss Rouge in there is probably a criminal, and that means that that money is not hers. Oh, well, it's not ours, either. I didn't say it was ours, but I'd like that you and I at least are on the same track. No, Megan, I don't think we are. You know, my wife died. Did I ever tell you that she was killed? Did I tell you that? No. She got this little pot the first year that we were married. And it survived all the way through our marriage. It survived storms and moves. And me, big ox that I am, it has survived until today. I walk out on the porch and it's cracked up. Nothing I did. Nothing anybody did. It's just something that happened. And I could, I could fix it, sure. I mean, that's not the issue. It's, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? No. This is bad. It's bad, Hopkins, I know. But the fact is that you and I are going to have a dead body in there before morning. And that is the truth, whether we say yes or no to the money. So you do want the money then? I have waited so long for an olive branch. All right, so what then? What exactly do you want to do? I want to let time answer this one. You want to let her die? She is dead already, and you know that. And if she makes it through the night? She won't. She will not.
gonna kill me. I'm not gonna kill you. Is he? Where did you get this money? It's not for me. I didn't have a choice. Well, then who is it for? I know he wants it. I can see his insides. Look, I'm gonna get you some help. As soon as we can leave, I'm gonna take you to a hospital. Don't let him take my Stop the day. Good morning. Good morning to you. Hopkins. I always call you by your last name. You know what my last name is? It's Bacon. It is? No. But it should be, don't you think? Because then I'd be making bacon. <laughs> Rouge is alive. Yeah, I saw that. Guess time didn't do its job. I'm taking it to a hospital. Today. You are? Yeah. I don't care what you do with the money. And I know you said the universe is out to get you or whatever, but I'm not just gonna let her slip away. So as soon as the wind dies down, we're leaving. Weird, don't you think? What? Hurricane in December. No. Hopkins. You're not gonna take her to a hospital. Because there are doctors there. And they will wanna know who she is. And they will call the police and the police will wanna know why she's shot. And then somebody is going to ask where all that money is. And I can't trust Mr. Noble with a lie of that magnitude. Come on. This is an opportunity to have a say in the outcome. And I'm taking that opportunity. You stay here, I'll do it. Make it. Put it down. Well, you know that's not gonna happen. Nothing has to happen. You said it yourself. We have a say. A decision. Yeah. I made my decision. Hopkins, you know the 
rule about guns. You never point one unless you're willing to pull the trigger. to you, Hopkins. I lied. My wife wasn't killed. She left me. <laughs> <laughs> 